For the first interval, we would have it negative infinity to negative 3. We use parentheses on each end since we don't include these values. The right hand side would be 4 comma infinity. This would be the second interval. Be sure to include parentheses here because we can't include these two values. Nice work if you remembered interval notation. And just to be even more certain that we're right, we can choose any number in either of these intervals and they should check in our inequality. So if I chose x equals 12, I know that's between 4 and positive infinity. So I could plug in 12 for x, and then I would get the value 120. We know 120 is greater than 0, which means that this statement is true. This quick check just reinforces that we have the correct intervals on either side. It's usually a good idea to test a couple numbers to make sure that you have the correct interval.